Life before gaming was a little bit complicated. Uh, my parents actually like limited the amount I was uh, given to play each day. And uh, I was into sports, like pretty much every single sport, basketball, baseball, football, soccer. And uh, I got my shoulder hurt from uh, pitching. And uh, I just started playing more and more uh, in terms of video games. And I started playing uh, competitively on internet websites like Game Battles back in you know 2007 when I started. My parents definitely wanted me to you know stay focused in school. I remember I had to have a certain GPA in school and if I didn't have that then I didn't play at all. And I think that that was, uh, that was the whole like medium between myself and my parents. I think Black Ops 2 was when it went from a hobby to like this is a profession. This is something you can actually do. This is something you, you can actually do for a living. Uh, I had to make a decision and you know my dad he's always been telling me don't don't ever do 50 50 don't ever do that give give a hundred percent into something and I think that you know right when I did do that right when I did give a hundred percent into it it was it was just lights out from then now so I was first probably noticing cod 4 uh, back in 2007 2008 I you know just played late nights, I, I would message a pro and then I got in Nated's lobby and Nated was like, wow, this guy's actually really good. And then from there, I started making like uh, the ESPN uh, top 10 plays, which were ran by MLG, but uh, I started making those and I was just like, like, I can do this. I was like, th like, this is actually happening. Uh, I started in Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 4. Then I went to uh, Halo, and that's when, you know, Halo, Halo 2 and Halo 3, they were huge back then. There's just so many sponsors that were just everywhere in Halo, but they weren't in Call of Duty. And I remember at the time, I left Call of Duty to pursue that in Halo, and, I, and you know, watching Ogre 2 play and watching Final Boss play, that was, it was awesome. Anyone who, who watched those games back then knew that, you know, those guys were the real deal. I'm definitely most proud of uh, my multiple tourney uh, accomplishments. You know, I've won, I think it's 26, 27 tournaments. You know, I'm really proud that I think with this team, it's, it's, it's really good to do these things considering that I've only been on like two or three teams my entire career. So I'm not someone to go from like team to team just because, you know, we lose or something like that. That's just not something I, I do. I did that in Halo and I learned that that's not the way to do it. I think the thing that motivates me to be the best is just self-motivation. I think that's with everyone, just self-motivation. And uh, you know, you're not trying to satisfy anyone. You're not trying to, you know, be someone that someone wants you to be. It's just, it just comes down to who you want to be at the end of the day. And I think that you, you are the only one who can decide that. So self-motivation to me and to probably most pros out there, it's, it's, number one it's like the it's the reason why we do these oh.